Portuguese Mariah Crossing and today we are ranking nine eagles. Well the only reason why I'm ranking nine of them is, is that I might not be including Quinn because I'm I did rank her at some point, I remember correctly that I think I might have ranked her maybe like, you know, probably five months ago now, maybe in January of like, you know, of this year, etc. So that's what I've done. So I've probably had to like, you know, separate the new features that were introduced into, you know, new arrivals. But the ones who have already been reduced are I'll, I'll keep in the ranking for you guys. So you've got like a little fair share, etc. But sometimes I'll always like, you know, keep um the Sanrio ones separate so I can do them at a different stage. But when it comes to like, you know, my anniversary for my channel, I will be ranking those just to give you guys a little like, you know, heads up on that sort of front. But today it's all about the eagles and what things will they suit in the most? Let's find out, shall we? So our first feature, we have Amelia, who's a snooty feature. Well, the only chord that I could only suggest for her was jungle chord because the only reason I went with jungle chord is because of the design. It sort of gave me like, you know, like, you know, jungle chord vibe when it comes to looking at the design a little bit. It looks like more iconic and that stuff. But I think eagles do live in the jungle or something like that. Or maybe I'm just thinking it because it, she looks more like a natural sort of verger in a way. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about Jungle Core in particular. But I only had to give her a 2 out of 10. She's not one of my favourites. And the only thing I'm a bit you know, unsure of is that I think her design sort of puts me off a little bit. Even though it looks very unique in, in particular. I quite like how her design looks very, like, you know, presented on her. But I'm not really the biggest fan when it comes to Amelia. But you might... But you might all might disagree with me on that. Or you guys are a big fan of media in particular. Who knows? Let's get to the next one, shall we? On the next feature, we have Apollo, who's a cranky feature. Well, the thing is, I couldn't really decide what, like, you know, core I was going to go with for him as well. So I had to give him a jungle core in the end because he's more like a natural sort of verger in a way. That's why I'm thinking that he might fit jungle core very well because of his design a little bit. So that's why I suggested jungle core in particular for the, like, the eagles because they might, like, you know have some hierarchy when it comes to like you know like being like you know the second like best like like you know king of the jungle etc that's why i was thinking that eagles will be a good fit for like you know jungle core as well so that's why i've gone with that well the only reason i've given him a 10 out of 10 he's one of my favorite eagles in particular and plus the funny thing is there's a cool fact to this that i'm gonna probably just spit out really quickly is that his birthday, July the 4th, like, you know, remarks, I think it's like Independence Day on, I think it's like Independence Day in America. So that's why I think I can see that Apollo is pretty like, you know, the most popular vid that you could always have on your own. So that's why I've given him a 10 out of 10, etc. So let's get to the next one, shall we? So our next feature, we have Avery, who's another cranky feature. Well, you might see more cranky feature in this species than any other species that you might have seen. Because the eagles, I literally checked all the eagles, I thought, oh, the majority of them are actually cranky feeds. Well, that's not that bad, to be honest. So I'm quite, you know, happy with that. Well, the only call that I could only suggest for Avery would be cottage call because he looks like a cottage call village, don't you think? Because of his, like, kind of design and what he's kind of wearing, it gives me that sort of feel. So... But you could also argue he can also be like a desert core villager as well, just because he looks like a like an eagle that fits that sort of vibe as well. I had to give him a five out of ten because he's not really that popular. He's kind of like an underrated sort of villager in particular. But I would like it if he had more fans. So that's why I'm giving him a five out of ten, which is like his safest spot that I could actually give him. But at the end of the day. You could also have him in rustic core or something like that because he looks like, you know, more of a grandpa core sort of like, you know, theatre that you might want on your eyes, etc. But you know what I mean? You could always make up a few more cores for Avery that might suit him the most, etc. Let's get to the next one, shall we? So our next theatre is Buzz, who's a cranky theatre. Well, I didn't know what, like, you know, cores to go with for him in a chain, so I had to go with Jungle Core again. But I could also just maybe tropical core for him as well because it kind of gives me that sort of feel that he might fit both cores in a way. So you could go with that, etc. But only giving him one out of ten is that I just I think he designed sort of a bit, you know, too exaggerated and it kind of creeps me out a little bit. So that's why Buzz is never kind of my mind, etc. But if you guys have different like opinions of him instead, then you might want to like you know give him a higher vote. Then I recommend. Let's get to the next one, shall we? 
So on this video is Celia, who is a normal village. Well, she's definitely one of the only normal villages there is in this sort of species. But in, in, in the end of the day, I feel like she's definitely quite popular because... I know Tiger likes Celia. There's a few other, like, you know, fan, well, YouTubers out there who also like Celia. So it's kind of funny that Celia is quite popular somehow. But she should be, like, you know, popular when it comes to Animal Crossing Portal.com because she looks, she, she looks kind of like, you know, you're like kind of unique, isn't she? And she is a little sweetheart as well. But I had to give her a 9 out of 10 because her, her design looks so, you know, looks so different change of texture of colour and it looks really good as well it fits her very well so that's why i've given her a cottage core because i thought well she's more of a cottage core villager in my opinion so that's what i mean by that really let's get to the next one shout so our next villager we have frank who's a cranky villager well the thing is the only core that i could only go with was actually jungle core because the reason why is that he he's kind of like a a green macaw when you like you can, when you go to like Brazil and that sort of area you might find some different like you know tropical birds and also I could say tropical core couldn't I I could have like you know suggested both core then but never mind general core is a good one to go with as well but the thing is I'm not the biggest fan of Frank in particular and he is kind of like you know underrated a little bit but I gave him a one out of ten because he kind of his design's kind of a bit you know a little bit off but they could have done better for frank to be honest so let's get to the next one shall we so our next villager is keen who the smug villager well the thing is i feel like he'll suit tropical core because he, he looks like a tropical bird so i'm sort of thinking that he's like a blue bacore as well so you can think you could represent him as a like you know like a bird like a parrot sort of thing but i'm thinking to myself he looks more like a laid-back theater in particular, but based on his sort of personality. That's why I was thinking Chalker Core fit him more because he's more like a laid-back dude who just likes to enjoy the sun and enjoy summer long, long. But I was also thinking to myself, what should I rank him? Well, I went with 8 out of 10 because I think Keaton would be one I would... Well, I haven't had him before, but I'd like to have him at some point if I was doing a Chalker one, etc. So let's get to the next one, shall we? So our next villager, we have Piers, who's a jock villager. Well, he's definitely our first jock of the day because I know there's a lot of cranky villagers and that stuff. But again, I was not really sure what, like, you know, what Iron Core he would actually, like, you know, suit in. So I had to go with Kid Core in the end, only because I kind of thought to myself, what does his house interior look like? Well, it's more Kid Core to me. So I was thinking, yep, yeah, he'll fit Kid Core. But you could also sort of argue he could also, like, you know, fit another core that I'm thinking maybe wintry core because he's kind of wearing, like, a... He's wearing, like, a wintry outfit, so you could also think in wintry core might actually fit him as well. But I did give him a 7 out of 10 because, you know, he's... He's definitely quite, you know, like, a, like an iconic theatre to have if you want to have him on, like, a kid core, etc. So let's get to our last theatre, shall we? So our last theatre, we have... Sterling, who's another jock villager. Well, the thing is, I'm not really the biggest fan of night villagers in particular. That's why I'll give him a four out of ten because sometimes there's some villagers that I'm not the biggest fan of, and you know what I mean. But Sterling in particular, I feel like they could have done a bit better with Sterling because he looks like a good, like you know, example of a night villager. But they could have done a little bit better or something like that. That's why I give him a four out of ten. But the only core that I could only suggest for him would be Gold Core because he, he, he kind of gives you that sort of vibe. But there is also another core that I could actually suggest here, which could be like Medieval Core, which is actually one that I think would be a perfect core that they could actually demonstrate when it comes to Iron Cores. I feel like that one has not, like you know, come a light yet. But I think Medieval Core could be a good one, you know. So let's get to the last bit, shall we? Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed it, but make sure you comment down below who's your favourite eagle villager in particular, because it could be Quinn, it could be, like, Celia, it could be any other, like, you know, eagle in particular, but I want to know who your favourite um, eagle villager is down in the comments. Make sure you like on this video, and if you're new to my channel and want to see more of my content, please subscribe, because the variety of content you might enjoy might involve Animal Crossing content or Metopia content. Well, I'm probably might do me, like you know Metopia content tomorrow, so you guys can see what my actual me character would look like, like you know me as a YouTuber, but as a me character, so you guys know what 
I would probably like, you know, look like in Metopias. So I thought that'd be probably exciting for you guys, so you guys know what you can do when you play Metopia. You can actually put me in there instead or something like that. Like, you know, for my little tutorial how to make my meat, etc. And also turn notification for other Animal Crossing Metopia content for me. That's what I, that's what I say really, but from Marina Crossing, I'll see you in the next one. So bye. Thank you.